What is going on ladies and gentlemen, my name is Equalize Espresso and welcome to today's video. Now today we're going to be talking about competitive Call of Duty, we're going to be talking a little bit about news coming out of the community and what we will do to affect the COD competitive realm. And no, I'm not talking about roster changes, I'm not into that drama stuff that's dead and gone, it's already over with and I'm just going to let that be, I'm not going to talk about roster changes, but instead I'm talking about stuff that will actually influence the game. Now firstly let's talk about Call of Duty Championships that's going to take place March 28th to March 30th and it will be played on Xbox One which is really big change especially because scuff controllers and all that aren't very compatible with the Xbox one just yet there may be adapters coming soon for it or scuff may make Xbox one scuff controllers but until that time this is gonna be a weird transition for pro players and the Xbox one will be making its first debut as the lead console of this generation with MLG and pro players so I'm really curious now to see how the pro players will actually adapt from an Xbox 360 to an Xbox one LAN event it's probably that it's gonna be a little different for them so they're going to be out of their realm a little bit unless they get a hold of an Xbox One, which I do know a lot of pros that have Xbox One, so it really shouldn't be that big of a problem if they can practice on it. But now, the other part of this video that I want to get to you guys is the news regarding changes in the esports rules. Now, this is something that a lot of people wanted for a long time, and finally, Infinity Ward was like, you know what, we're actually going to help you out. The competitive community can have what they want, finally. But in an upcoming hotfix, it's going to restrict the ghillie suits in competitive rules, restrict tracker sites in competitive rules, restrict danger clothes, disable third person spectating for private matches that are competitive, add a kill feed to broadcaster mode, and make the overall stability of broadcaster mode better because that did crash a lot recently. At UMG Philly it crashed completely a couple times and there were complete restarts of the actual broadcaster screen a couple times during the event. As well there's one more change they're going to be making and that's the search and destroy. They're going to resolve the diffuse timer animation discrepancy which means one thing in my opinion if I'm interpreting this right and I think that I am but when you would go to defuse a bomb in search and destroy, instead of it being a 7.5 second defuse, whenever you pick the bomb up, it wouldn't start the animation for the diffusing time. So it really, in essence, it would be an 8.0 to 8.5 diffuse time rather than a 7.5 diffuse time, which honestly is the world of difference because that one second has screwed me and a lot of other people over in search and destroy matches. So quick recap, Xbox One is going to have LAN and it's going to be hosting Call of Duty Championships this March 28th to 30th, as well as an esports rules a lot of the bullcrap stuff is going to be banned so that's always nice to see but that has been my time ladies and gentlemen thank you guys so much for watching my name is the new cool espresso if you did like the video please leave a like rating down below any shares to your facebook twitter and or myspace for your og like that are always greatly appreciated if you're new here be sure to subscribe for the best of call of duty ghost content i got a ton of stuff still coming to you guys stay tuned i got some new series coming up for you so that'll be up shortly as always i hope you guys are having a great day i shall see you guys later take care and peace